Chapter 1, The History of Plains Plains have a fascinating history that goes all the way back to the early 20th century. They have evolved from basic flying machines to advanced aircraft that can travel to faraway places in no time. In the early 1900s, planes were not like the ones we see today. They were small and made of wood and fabric. Can you imagine flying in a plane that's not made of metal? It's hard to believe. Back then, people were amazed by the possibility of soaring through the sky. They saw planes as an incredible invention that could change the way we travel. The Wright brothers were pioneers in this field. They built and flew the first successful plane in 1903. It was a major milestone in the history of planes. As time went by, planes started to become more advanced. They began to use powerful engines and metal frames. These changes made them faster and more reliable for long-distance travel. People around the world were impressed by how planes were evolving. During World War I, planes played a crucial role in battles. They were used for reconnaissance, bombing, and even dogfights in the sky. This was a turning point in the history of planes. It showed that they were not just for peaceful travel, but also for military purposes. After the war, planes continued to evolve. Engineers and designers began experimenting with new designs and technologies. They wanted to make planes even better and safer. They worked on features like pressurized cabins, which made flying more comfortable for passengers. In the 1930s, commercial air travel started to become popular. People realized that they could reach faraway destinations much faster by plane than by any other means of transportation. This was a game changer. During World War Roman II, planes became even more advanced. They were used for bombing missions and transporting troops. The development of jet engines also began during this time. Jet planes were faster and more efficient than propeller-driven planes. They changed the face of aviation forever. In the latter half of the 20th century, planes continued to improve. They became larger, more powerful, and more luxurious. Air travel became accessible to more and more people. People started to see planes not just as a mode of transportation, but also as a way to explore the world. Today, planes are a common sight in the sky. They can fly at incredible speeds and carry hundreds of passengers. We can reach almost any place in the world within a day or two. It's truly amazing how far planes have come. The history of planes is a captivating one. From their humble beginnings in the early 20th century to the advanced aircraft we see today, they have changed the way we travel and connect with each other. So next time you see a plane flying above you, take a moment to appreciate the fascinating history behind it. Question, what is the history of planes? Check the video description for the answer. Chapter 2, Parts of an Airplane in this chapter, we will explore the different parts of an airplane. Airplanes are amazing machines that can fly high in the sky. Let's learn about these parts so that we can understand how they all work together to make a safe and smooth flight. First, let's talk about the wings. The wings are like the arms of an airplane. They are long and wide. Their shape helps the airplane stay up in the air. The wings have special flaps that can move up and down. These flaps help the airplane slow down or speed up. They also help the plane turn left or right. Without the wings, the airplane wouldn't be able to fly. Next, we have the fuselage. The fuselage is the main body of the airplane. It's like the car's body. The pilots and passengers sit inside the fuselage. It's where they are safe when they are flying in the air. The fuselage also carries all the luggage and cargo. It's a big part of the airplane. Now, let's move on to the tail. The tail is at the back of the airplane. It has two parts, the vertical stabilizer and the horizontal stabilizer. The vertical stabilizer keeps the airplane going straight. 
It's like a rudder on a boat. The horizontal stabilizer helps the airplane go up or down. It's like an elevator in a building. The tail is an important part of the airplane's balance. Lastly, we have the engines. The engines are like the airplane's heart. They give power to make the airplane move forward. Most airplanes have two or more engines. Engines are usually located under the wings. They have big propellers or jet nozzles that push the air backward. That's how the airplane can fly and travel through the sky. All these parts work together to make sure the airplane has a safe and smooth flight. The wings lift the airplane up. The fuselage keeps everyone inside safe. The tail helps with balance and the engines provide the power. The pilots, who are like the airplane's captains, make sure everything is working correctly before taking off. So, the next time you see an airplane in the sky, remember all the different parts that make it fly. Without the wings, fuselage, tail, and engines, the airplane wouldn't be able to soar through the clouds. It's truly an amazing machine that takes us to different places. Question, what are the main parts of an airplane? Check the video description for the answer. Chapter 3, How do planes fly? Chapter 3, How do planes fly? Planes are amazing machines that can fly high in the sky. Have you ever wondered how they can stay up there? Well, let me tell you all about it. When a plane takes off, it needs something called lift to stay in the air. Lift is a special force that helps the plane stay up. It works together with the force of gravity, which always pulls everything down. You can imagine lift as a friend of the plane, helping it defy the force of gravity and soar through the sky. So how does lift work? Well, it all has to do with the shape of the wings. The wings of an aircraft are not flat like our hands. They are curved on the top and flat on the bottom. This special shape helps create lift when the plane is moving forward. As the plane picks up speed and the air rushes over the wings, something magical happens. The air that moves over the curved top moves faster than the air that moves below the flat bottom. This creates a difference in pressure between the top and bottom surfaces of the wings. The faster moving air on top creates a lower pressure area, while the slower moving air on the bottom creates a higher pressure area. This difference in pressure is what gives us lift. Now, you might wonder how lift can make a plane fly. Well, let me explain. When the lift force is greater than the force of gravity pulling the plane down, the plane can climb higher and higher into the sky. It's like when you jump up and the force of your legs pushing you up is greater than the force of gravity pulling you down. But lift is not the only force at work when a plane is flying. Another force that helps the plane move forward is called thrust. Thrust is the force that pushes the plane through the air, kind of like when you push a toy car across the floor. Engines on the plane create this thrust. They are like the heart of the aircraft, propelling it forward with the power of the engines. The faster the plane goes, the more lift it creates and the higher in the sky it can fly. So, next time you see a plane flying above you, remember the magical forces at work. Lift and thrust help the aircraft overcome the force of gravity and move forward through the air. It's a combination of science and engineering that allows planes to fly and take us to amazing places around the world. Question, how do planes stay up in the air? Check the video description for the answer. Chapter 4, Different Types of Planes. In this exciting chapter, we will explore the different types of planes that exist in the world. Are you ready to soar through the skies and learn about commercial airliners, cargo planes, and private jets? Let's get started. First, let's talk about commercial airliners. These planes are often the ones we see at airports when we go on vacation or visit family and friends. They are big and can carry a lot of passengers. Commercial airliners are special because they are designed for long-distance travel. 
They have plenty of seats, so many people can fly together comfortably. Some even have entertainment screens on the back of seats, so passengers can watch movies or play games during the flight. Isn't that cool? Now, let's move on to cargo planes. These planes are a bit different from commercial airliners. Instead of carrying people, they transport goods and packages from one place to another. Cargo planes are incredibly important because they help deliver items all over the world. They have large, spacious holds where the packages and goods are loaded. These planes can carry heavy things like cars, machinery, or even animals. Imagine seeing a plane carrying a lion or an elephant. That would be quite a sight. Lastly, let's learn about private jets. These planes are very fancy and are used by wealthy people or important business executives. Private jets are often smaller compared to commercial airliners, but they have unique features that make them special. One of their features is that they can fly to smaller airports that big planes cannot land at. This means they can take their passengers to places that are not easily accessible by other planes. Private jets also have luxurious interiors with comfortable chairs, bedrooms, and even kitchens. They are truly like flying homes. Each type of plane has different purposes and features that make them useful and interesting. Commercial airliners carry many people on long flights, cargo planes deliver goods all over the world, and private jets take wealthy individuals to various destinations. Isn't it amazing how planes make our lives easier and connect us to different parts of the world? So, the next time you see a plane flying high above you, remember that it might be a commercial airliner full of excited travelers, a cargo plane carrying important packages, or a private jet taking someone on a luxurious journey. Planes are incredible inventions that allow us to explore and connect with the world in ways we could never imagine. Question, what are some different types of planes? Check the video description for the answer. Chapter 5, Future of Flying. In this chapter, we are going to take a peek into the exciting future of flying. We will explore the advancements and developments that are making planes more efficient and eco-friendly. Imagine traveling in a plane that is even faster and safer than the ones we have now. Well, with the latest technology, it is becoming a reality. The future of flying holds great promise for aviation enthusiasts and everyday travelers alike. One of the most noticeable advancements is in the efficiency of planes. Airplanes of the future will be designed to use less fuel while still being able to carry a lot of passengers. This means that there will be fewer emissions, which is great news for our environment. With these eco-friendly advancements, we can enjoy flying without worrying about harming our planet. But it's not just about being eco-friendly. The future of flying also brings us some exciting developments in technology. Imagine stepping into a plane and feeling like you're in a futuristic movie. The interiors of future planes will be equipped with high-tech gadgets and comfortable seating. Some planes may even have virtual reality screens that show beautiful landscapes as you travel. In addition to the exciting technology inside the plane, advancements in aviation will also make flying safer. Pilots will have access to better navigation systems and weather forecasting tools. This will help them navigate through the skies more efficiently and avoid any potential dangers or turbulence. Another exciting development is the possibility of electric planes. Yes, you heard it right. In the future, we might see planes powered by electricity instead of fossil fuels. This would not only be more environmentally friendly, but also reduce the noise pollution caused by planes. Just imagine flying in a plane that glides through the sky silently. The future of flying is indeed thrilling, with so many advancements on the horizon. Whether it's the efficiency of planes, the eco-friendly technology, or the exciting developments in aviation,
there is no doubt that flying will become an even more incredible experience. So, next time you get on a plane, remember that you are witnessing just a glimpse of what the future holds. With continued research and innovation, flying will become faster, safer, and more sustainable. And who knows, maybe one day, we will all be flying in electric planes soaring through the sky with ease and peace. Exciting times are coming, my friends. The future of flying is bright, and we can't wait to see what it has in store for us. So buckle up, sit back, and get ready to explore the incredible advancements and developments that await us in the skies above. Happy flying! Question, what does the future of planes and flying hold? Check the video description 